Kane is in the building. <laughs> Okay, so the Romanian deadlift is one of many accessory exercises for the conventional deadlift from the floor. Uh, when we look at the setup um, from the floor up, you know, you're much better off deadlifting in bare feet if you can. Um, you know, I've got a clean grip, which is, you know, basically just outside my knees. So the grip is wide enough so my knees uh, sort of don't get in the way of the, the arm movement. Um, you know, the, the depth that you're going to get to on the Romanian deadlift is very specific to the person. A lot of the time, you know, down to the knee is, is where you're going to get to. But, you know, with stretching and doing the exercise itself, it does actually functionally stretch the, the hamstrings. Things to really look for that are important is keeping the shoulders really tight. Uh, if you keep the shoulders tight, you're going to hold more tension in the hamstrings and glutes. And obviously, you're going to protect your back and you're going to you know, have better posture doing the movement. Yeah, so I keep my shoulders really tight, but I also really push them down into my back towards my hips. So as we spin this around in the view from side on, you can actually see that this is where it gets, you know, important, this view. So if you watch, it's what we're looking for here is a perfectly vertical bar path, right? It's quite often, there's two parts to this move. We bow forward by the hips going back first and that naturally takes the torso over, not the other way around. And the knee should not progress forward until the bar has passed the kneecap, right? So that bar, that bar can, can basically go up and down in a vertical bar, bar path perfectly. It does not want to go around the knee. If that bar goes forward like only one inch, the load that is increased in the lower back is really significant and you're never going to be able to lift as much if that bar path is not spot on. Um, so just once again, as I lower down, it's not that my torso is coming over, my hips are driving back. I'm almost like overbalancing backwards to hold that position without any knee progression. The other thing that's really significant to just to point out uh, as I run out of film and go onto a still is that, you know, even though the, the weight is in your hands and it feels like the upper body should be involved, it's not. The, just think of the bar as part of the upper body, right? And as you reverse your eccentric into concentric, so lowering to standing, you're driving your feet hard as you can into the floor. And once the bar gets to the knees, then the knee, the hip is driving forward again to the bar. That's how the weight moves, right? So just think of the bar as locked into your grip and to, to your tightness in your back and your core, and it's just part of your upper body. So you're not lifting it, you're, you're pushing the earth away. Um, big, big breath to, to at the top of the rep, hold it as you lower down, bring it back up and let it out and repeat. Let us know how you go, guys. Cheers.